Continuing on with question three of paper two, 2023. Here we go. Determine the equation of the line that passes through L, but is parallel to this SN. Parallel to SN. Well, we know that the gradient of SN is four over three. We worked it out before. And if a line is parallel, then it's got the same gradient. So the gradient of the line must be four over three if it's parallel. And it must pass through this point, minus 4 and 1. So all we do is we use the gradient point formula. We put in our point. Here we put minus uh, 1. We put 1 there, so it's y minus 1. We put the gradient right in there for m. We put minus 4 in this minus minus 4. It makes it plus 4. And there's our answer. We just clean it up a bit. 4 thirds times x is 4 thirds x. 4 times 4 is 16 over 3. We add 1 to 16 over 3, and it equals 19 over 3. 3 over 3 plus 16 over 3 is 19 over 3. Okay, there you go. There's the equation of the line that is parallel to Sn, but passes through minus 4 and 1. And that's it. Let's try the next question. Now, the next question says, calculate the area of the triangle L, S, N. Well, it's a nice right angle triangle. So that this part here, 4 root 5, that we worked out before, we knew already that, for, that SL is 4 root 5. I think it was the first question we worked on. Well, that's the height of the triangle. And this is the base. We just have to find out how far it is from L to M. And all we do is put it in the distance form. Minus 4 plus 2 squared, 1 plus 3 squared. Add them together, take the square root. My calculator says 2 root 5. Hey, it's good to leave it as the third thing, because half the base times the height, half of ln times ls. Um, we knew that ls was 4 root 5, so it's a half times 2 root 5 times 4 root 5. Well, half of 2 is 1. Root 5 times root 5 is 5, and 4 times 5, I don't even need a calculator. It's 20 square units. There you go. That's that one done.